have an exponential equation, you look at the numbers 8, which can be represented as a power of 2. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Now, there are two powers already indulging with each other, x times x, which is x squared. So what do you do is you just have to make sure that the power x squared is now multiplied with the new power that you got inside. Thereby, the other way you write this term would be 2 to the power of 3x squared. Okay, that's the other way you write the term 8x or 8 to the power of x whole to the power of x. Similarly, if you look at 32, it's 2 to the power of 5. The fifth power of 2 is 32 and then there is an indulged power already which is x. So I'm going to multiply straight and write down that as 5x. So you clearly see your numerator and your denominator both are now expressed in powers of 2. I think you know that the rules of exponent tell us that if we have the same base dividing with different powers, I have to go ahead and subtract the power. So the top power is 3x squared. The second power I got at the bottom is 5x. Because they were dividing, I have subtracted the power. And on the right side, what I have is 4, which can be expressed as 2 squared. So what I did is I converted my whole equation into power of 2. Okay, equations where power of 2 is only present. And all I need to do is just compare the powers. So upon comparing the powers, what you really get is a quadratic expression now. Okay, equals to 2. And now bringing that to this side gives me minus 2 equals to 0. So go ahead and use your favorite method of solving this quadratic. You can go by factorization, anything. I like to do it with the trial and error method, which is just I'll plug in the two factors of 3, 1 and 3. So x and x, okay. And this 2 here has only one pair of factor, 1 and 2. I can write it as 2 and 1. If I write it 2 and 1, then you know 3 into 2 is 6. Now 6 minus 1 is 5. So what is it? I have to get the negative 5 so I want the bigger number to be negative and smaller number to be positive. So I got the two factors x minus 2 and 3x plus 1 giving me the values of x as positive 2 and negative 1 third.